Quarantine, baby, we killing it. I just gotta walk in the north. Oh! Always an attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. Whenever I land, I have to come back. And I got plans. Oh! Oh! Good guys, a lot of things going on, not a lot of dunking because all the courts are closed and I'm losing my mind because it's not about that I can't go in a couple weeks, it's just that there's an unknown. How long is this going to be, this quarantine? I'm losing my mind, there's not even a hoop, I'm trying to jump, I'm jumping at walls, I'm doing all this crazy shit, I have nothing to do! Woo! Anyway, three things I want to do with all my content. One, help you maximize your energy. Two, channel that energy. Three, Use those two steps to achieve anything in your life and believe anything is possible and you can create your own reality with your mind. Yo! So at the end of this video, Yo! let's get it. So at the end of this video, I'm going to give you my three takeaways from this dunk session that will help you and give you insight to what I was thinking, what I learned, because I learned something every single session. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the dunks. I'm flying, baby, but I'm going to have too much energy because I don't look at the use it when I dunk. So what am I going to do? I have a podcast every single day, by the way. Follow my Instagram if you want to see my story. You can do other cool things and support me. So if you go back to that last clip, I landed on my right knee, which I've been having the quad tendonitis, which you would know if you'd be listening to my daily podcast. So I was pointing there is that it's a little bit sore right there. And during this whole session, it was a little bit sore, but I still had fun pushed through it. I'm like David Goggins. I can't be stopped. Quick interruption, leave a comment with any question you have or videos you want to see in the future. It really helps me out. Pick which video because I have so many ideas and need a little bit of structure. Help me out here. another interruption i'm holding a design contest for my new my new podcast logo and it's insane look at some of these designs real quick
realizing this might not be the best practice because I'm training myself to go so forward. So I'm gonna try some upwards to finish it. So that was a great session. Three takeaways I want you to get from this session is the dribble dunks. When I started off slow and I focused on my technique upwards, I had a really good takeoff and really good finish and my dribble dunks made progress. Number two, I want to show you that when I do the distance dunk like I mentioned, I was jumping forwards and I want to channel that energy upwards. I don't always want to go distance and for me, if I practice one thing, I start to develop that pattern so I got to stay true to going upwards because that's the way I maximize my vertical which is why I got hype on that backboard dunk at the very end because I jumped upwards even though I was super tired I still got good vertical because I channel that energy forwards very much upwards so I've got to make sure that I don't channel too much energy uh, practicing the distance dunks and I remember that that's just one aspect of it I don't want to get so good at distance dunks and lose my technique for my jumping. And lastly, there's so many variables. So for me, when I practice one thing, like I mentioned with the distance dunks, I start to get good at that and my technique falters with everything. So if I want to get good at the game dunks, the dribble dunks, I got to start with that. I got to end with that. I got to keep it my focus. Attention goes where energy flows. Have a good one. That's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there.